Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty work. What's going on, Carlos? What's going on, Ceci? Hello, Angel. How you doing? What's going on, William? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hello, Gladys. Hi, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Back in action, like Jesse Jackson. How are you? How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Where did you go? Who did you see? What did you do? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Huh? What? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Let us get started. What information do you remember about the class on Thursday? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase del jueves? ¿Qué hicimos? ¿Quién, me puede, quién se acuerda? What do you remember about the class that we had on Thursday? ¿Por qué sección van en la plataforma? ¿Cuál? ¿Tres punto qué? Tres punto tres. Tres punto tres. Tres punto cuatro. Sí. Tres punto cuatro. Okay, vamos a empezar de la tres punto cuatro. Knowledge Mira. check. Ya voy por la cinco. Tres punto cinco. Ok. Yo inicié la 3.6. Excuse me. Inglés participante 3.5. All right, vamos a empezar de la 3.5. Ok. Vamos a compartir la pantalla para que todos vean mi pantalla. Alguien me está escribiendo aquí. Practice auxiliary do and does pronunciation. Okay, thank you very much. Mario. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to be getting started and we're going to be looking at lesson 3.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use WH questions using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So this is to practice how this is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar preguntas interrogativas usando el tiempo presente simple. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en, en, en un entorno de la vida real. So we're going to be looking at this section right now, right here, the simple present with WH questions. We're going to go ahead and take a couple of minutes and we're going to listen to the video. He works in a hotel. He works. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, 
he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present. Ooh. Oh, that's All right, I would like for everybody to please repeat after me. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? Everybody, everybody repeat please. Everybody repeat please. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. Oh really? oh, really? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. My, my, my brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. He is a front desk agent. agent. Yeah. How does he like it? How does he like it? Not very much. Not, not, not very, very, much. Much. very much. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't, he doesn't like, like, like the manager. That's too bad. That's, That's, too, bad. Bad. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. The plaza. The plaza. That's funny. That's, That's funny. funny. My brother works there too. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Actually, he's the manager. Okay, uh, does anybody have any questions at this moment about this, uh, this topic? Does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or the vocabulary? Yes? La palabra des agent, ¿cómo se podría? ¿Cuál palabra, perdón? ¿Cuál? This agent, they say ah, front, front desk. desk agent, front desk agent, ah, eh, se les dice a las personas que están en, en, la, en la recepción en un hotel. Recepcionista. Sería como un recepcionista. Ah, no, en, un, en una oficina se les dice recepcionista, en un hotel se les dice front desk clerk. Uh, yeah, en, en una oficina le van a decir un receptionist, pero en este caso como es un hotel se le llaman eh, front desk agent. Voy a poner el audio una vez más y de ahí lo vamos a practicar nuevamente. Okay. This is a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled he works in a hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Well, too. All right, let's practice one more time. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. 
you know? No. Oh, okay. no. oh, really? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. That's what hotel does he work for? What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. My brother works there too. Funny, my brother works there too. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> okay. All right, so at this moment, uh, we're going to go ahead and practice the conversation in pairs. We are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. And let's go. Ok, tengo a Angel que no entró al chat, eh, Lidia Arevalo no entró al chat y Leti no entró al chat. ¿Me escuchan? Teacher, yo estaba sola, por eso me salí. Ah, ok. Lidia. Lidia. Leti. Ok, vamos a recrear los grupos porque no podemos tenerlos solos. Veo que Leti está con Briseida, está sola. Deme un segundito. Si, este, si queda sola otra vez, no se me salga. Yo voy a, yo la voy a ubicar porque si se me sale ya no la puedo ingresar. Así que okay. si está sola, yo cuando ya vaya verificando, yo la voy a poner con pareja. Pero ahorita vamos a recrear los grupos de todos modos. Uh, sorry guys, uh, tuve que deshacer los grupos porque hay gente que se me ha quedado afuera. Los vamos a vamos a crear los grupos nuevamente porque hay gente que me la dejaron sola. Leti, Leti, estás allí? Hola Leti, alguien le puede mandar un WhatsApp a Leti. Doris Alas, ¿estás ahí? Sí, aquí estoy, Chicha. Ok, ¿usted entró a los grupos? Sí, sí, a, a practicar justamente iba. Ok. Sorry, guys, uh, lo siento, tuve que deshacer los grupos porque hubo personas que no 
ingresaron a los chats y me dejaron a los demás alumnos solos. Así que vamos a repetir el proceso nuevamente. Denme un minuto. Ok, obviamente Leti y Abigail, ¿estás allí? Leti, ¿estás ahí, Leti? ¿No? ¿Alguien le puede escribir a Leti? Abigail, ¿estás allí? Abigail. Sí, teacher. Ok, necesito, que, sí. necesito que entre el chat. Ok, voy a crear los grupos nuevamente. Por favor, todos ingresen. Si en algún dado caso usted queda sola o solo en el chat, por favor no se me salga. Yo en el momento adecuado voy a monitorearlos a todos y voy a ver el que esté solo. Yo lo voy a reubicar. No se me vayan a salir, ¿ok? Una vez más. Y disculpen el inconveniente. Okay. Ok, aquí voy a ubicar a Ada. Ada, ¿te se lista? Y Michelle García, la voy a ubicar ahorita, ¿te se lista? El Mercisco no entró. Leti no entró. Michelle García no entró. El Mercisco no entró. Leti, Michelle. Vaya, ahora si quiere con el otro. Mi hermano estaba hablando. Empiezo, mande. Vaya, me toca a mí con Rachel, entonces. Vaya, ok. Vaya. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from this agent. How does he like it? Like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Vaya, repetimos otra vez. Agarro a Rachel otra vez. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in a hotel too. He also from the agent. Eh, ¿Cómo es? From the agent. How does he like it? Not very much. Uh, he does like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? La Plata. That's funny, my brothers. Worse there too. Oh, thanks. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay. Come on. 
Sampai Alika. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is from this area. How does like it? Like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The class. That's it, funny. My brother works there too. But that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. He needs your order. Okay. Where does your brother no. work? Que es la que acabamos de empezar, ahora empiezo yo. ¿Cómo? Ahora acabamos de terminar así que estoy en inicio. Ahora voy a ah, estar. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye. No, están regresando ya todos. Oh, por eso, pero... All right, all right. Let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Okay, Gladys Merino. And one more volunteer. All right, Carlos Samosa. Carlos Samosa and Gladys. Carlos, you are Rachel. Gladys, you are Angela. Action. Okay, let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Okay, Carla Rojas and Elmer Sixco. Carla, you are Rachel, and Sixco, you are Angela. Action. Hello. Uh, Elmer Cisco. Hello. Get on the chat. All right. So Rachel. In a, oh, Angela. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother was in a hotel too. He's a front next agent. How do you how do he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What what does he do? Actuality. He's the manager. Excellent. Applause for the participants. Good job, Carla. Good job, Elmer. Select somebody, Carla. Thank you. Mm. Gladys. Gladys. Ceci. Ceci está por ahí con ganas. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Ceci. Let's do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Put your mind into it. Hola, Ceci. All right, Ceci, Gladys, action. Gladys, you are Rachel. Ceci, you are Angela. Okay. Where does your brother work? Hotel. Where does your brother work? Me 
me escucha? Sí, la escucho sí. perfectamente. In hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's hotel. from this agent. Hotel. Hotel too. He is from a this agent. How does how does he like? It? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. All right. Applause, Miss Gladys Merino and Miss Ceci. Good job. Okay, one more participant. Ceci, select somebody. Gladys, select somebody. Abigail. William. William Rosales. Abigail yes. and William Rosales. Abigail, you are Rachel. William, you are Angela. Hi, teacher. All right, action. Yo sería Angela. Perfecto, Where does your brother work? Oh, really? Oh, perdón, perdón. In, oh, in a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He is from the again. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the money. That's too bad. What, what hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's Easter things. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. All right, applause for William and Abigail. Good pronunciation. Very good pronunciation. All right, guys, now we are going to continue with the following section. Listen, please. Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. 
So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to write the questions here. ¿Ya lo hicieron todos ustedes acá? Jessica, Elmer, Alex, Cecilia, Elizabeth. Yes. ¿Ya lo hicieron todos las preguntas? Ah, ok, ya veo que bastante gente ya lo hicieron. Yes. Los que no lo han hecho, les queda de tarea. Tienen que yes. dar la pregunta y la respuesta. Utilizando el where, what, when, los ejemplos que vimos en el video. Now, what we're going to do is look at the following activity. Knowledge check. Instruc instructions. Complete these conversations. Select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones. Seleccione la respuesta con que contenga las dos palabras que hacen falta para completar cada pregunta. Conversation one. What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. A, where does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Is the answer where like, what like? How like? What is the How answer? Like. Mm. How like? How does How she does like? like it? Very good. It's How difficult, like. but she loves it. Correct. All right. I'm going to give you five minutes, and I want you to complete this activity. You have five minutes to complete this activity. Ready? And We're going to start right now.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Everybody's finished? Okay, let's check. Finish. I would like for the first one, please. Angel, number one, please. Uh, sorry, Angel, number two, please. Uh, how does she like it? Uh, no, number two. Does your brother you know? at the airport, uh, he's a pilot. Uh -huh. Where Conversa does conversation. Uh -huh. work at the airport? Uh -huh. That is correct. Where does your brother work at the airport? He's a pilot. Very good. Okay. Angel, select somebody. Um, Carlos Aviler. Carlos Aviler. Continue. Hi, hi. 
Eh, how doesn't he like it? He doesn't really like it. All right, very good. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Thank you. Select somebody, please, Carlos. Uh, Ceci. Ceci. You are next. Conversation number three, Ceci. Conversation number three, Ceci. Ceci, estás ahí? Okay, select somebody different. All right. Mario Moran. Mario Moran. Mario Moran. Okay, how do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. All right, oh, I guess they like them. Very good, Mario, select somebody, Mario. Who? Abigail. Abigail. Abigail, continue, please. Abigail, continue. Go ahead, Abigail. Continue, please. Okay, select somebody different. Mauricio. Mauricio. Continue, Mauricio. Okay. I don't remember where do they work in a office in the city. Okay, very good. I don't remember where they work. In an office in the city is correct. Select somebody, please, for me, Mauricio. Um, Briseida. All right, Briseida, the next one. Um, what do you do? I am a student. Repeat, please. What do you do? I am a student. A student. That is correct. What do you do? I'm a student. Select somebody, please, for the last one. Carlos Aviles. Carlos Aviles. The last one, Carlos Aviles. Ya pasé el teacher, pero voy a volver a pasar. Sorry. All right, select somebody different. Um, Leti. All right, Leti. Continue. Let me continue. I see how do you like your classes? They, they are good. I like them a lot. Them a lot. Very good. I see. How do you like your glasses? 
They're good. I like them a lot. Very good, everybody. Applause. Good job. Okay, at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions referring to this information? Do you have questions about the vocabulary or anything of that nature? ¿Alguna pregunta o consulta acerca del vocabulario en este ejercicio? ¿Alguien? No questions? Does anybody have a question? Nobody? Somebody? One body? You body body? Nobody? <laughs> All right. Let us continue with the next activity. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at 3.8 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, she is beautiful. This is B plus adjective. She is a beautiful woman. Esa es adjective plus noun. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán la colocación de los adjetivos. Particularmente, ustedes aprenderán el orden verbo ser más adjetivo. Por ejemplo, ella es, ella es bonita. Ah, no se puede decir igual en español. ¿verdad? Ella es bonita. She is a beautiful woman. Ah, es una estructura diferente. Y adjetivo más nombre. All right, so the grammar in this section, guys, is different. Es diferente al español. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. 
At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, fire fighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Does anybody have any questions about this information? ¿Alguien tiene una consulta o pregunta sobre esta sección? ¿Algo que no entendió que lo quiere clarificado? Teacher. Dígame, Mario. William, en Dígame, resumen, William. ¿qué se estaría haciendo? Ah, pues aquí vamos a usar eh, adjetivos. Me van a dar por lo menos 10 oraciones describiendo los trabajos. Por ejemplo, tú dices, a nurse's job is dangerous. El trabajo de una enfermera es peligroso. Y después el otro ejemplo, a nurse has a dangerous job. Una enfermera tiene un trabajo peligroso. O sea so, que solo, solo acerca de trabajo realmente. That's right. Describiendo los trabajos. Van a hacer 10 oraciones aquí en el discussion forum y después los van a compartir. Tiene 5 Thank minutos. You, Thank you. Mario Moran, you have a question? Sí. Sí, en este caso el apóstrofe es el posesivo. Por ejemplo, tú decís el trabajo de un mecánico. El de es el posesivo del mecánico. So, en inglés sería the mechanic, apóstrofe S, mechanics, job. So, el apóstrofe S identifica el posesivo, que en este caso sería job, trabajo. ¿Sí? Okay, eh, casi no lo escuché, no lo escucho muy bien. El verbo okay, eliminar el apóstrofe. El verbo qué? Pay. 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 Okay. Ahí pasaría el has. Ah, uh, have, has, sí. Sí, she has a dangerous job. Ahí está el posesivo, has. Ese es el verbo en posesivo. Have 
para primer persona, has para tercer persona. Ok. Tienen dos minutos. All right, all right, guys, time's up, time's up, and we will continue tomorrow. That's going to be your homework. Good night, guys. See you. Take care. Go to sleep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, teacher. Take care. See you later. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.